Marshall McLuhan, 1911 to 1980, communication theorist, he helped us to understand the relationship between media and culture. McLuhan used the term medium in a broad sense. A newspaper has articles, a TV has programs, a light bulb doesn't have content, yet it has a social effect, it changes human behavior. He introduced the expressions, the medium is the message, and the global village. He predicted the internet almost 30 years before it was invented. His first book was The Mechanical Bride, 1951, looked at the effects of mass media and advertising on society. He gave the example of a newspaper headline as like a primitive shout of rage, triumph, fear or warning. His next book, The Gutenberg Galaxy, published in 1962, looked at how the printing press and books had changed society from an oral to a print culture, with effects on the way we think and communicate, and the end result of the world becoming a global village. It was the portability of the book, like that of easel painting, which added much to the new culture of individualism. His third book, Understanding Media, published in 1964, was about media being extensions of the human bodies and senses and how media influence our behavior. Quotes from that book include, it is experience rather than understanding that influences behavior, or we shape our tools and thereafter our tools shape us, or once we have surrendered our senses and nervous systems to the private manipulation of those who would try to benefit from taking a lease on our eyes and ears and nerves, we don't really have any rights left. In his fourth book, a collaboration with Quentin Fiore, he further explored the effects of media on human beings. Mere classification becomes secondary and inadequate to the speeds with which data can now be processed. We are moving out of the world of data classification into the world of pattern recognition. They have no purpose at all. This puts one in accord with nature and All media work us over completely. They are so pervasive in their personal, political, economic, aesthetic, psychological, moral, ethical, and social dimensions that they leave us untouched, unaffected, and unaltered. McLuhan began to become quite famous. And this happened because an advertising executive, Howard Gossage, held a McLuhan Festival for him in San Francisco. Film director Woody Allen also admired McLuhan's ideas. He liked to satirize people who talked a lot without understanding what they were saying, like the Columbia media professor in Annie Hall here. influence of television. Now, Marshall McLuhan deals with it in terms of it being a, a high... A high intensity, you understand, a hot medium. What I wouldn't as opposed give for a to, large sock as with horse manure in it. What do you do when you get stuck or, on a movie line with a guy like this behind you? Wait a minute, why can't it's I give my maddening. opinion? It's a free country. He, he, he can give you, do you yeah. have to give it so loud? I mean, aren't you ashamed to pontificate like that? And, and the funny part of it is, Marshall McLuhan, you don't know anything about Marshall McLuhan's oh, really? work. really, really. I happen to teach a class at Columbia called TV, Media, and Culture. So I think that my insights into Mr. McLuhan will have a great deal of validity. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, that's funny because I happen to have Mr. McLuhan right here. So, so yeah. Just let me, let me, let me, come over here, a second. Oh, tell I heard, him. I heard what you're saying. You, you know nothing of my work. You mean my whole fallacy is wrong? How you ever got to teach a course in anything is totally amazing. Boy, if life were only like this. There have been criticisms of McLuhan's work too. Umberto Eco claims that McLuhan confuses channels, codes, and messages. Regis Dupre sees McLuhan as more of a poet than a historian. And Brian Winston criticizes McLuhan's simplistic aphorisms. <laughs> McLuhan's ideas have relevance for the study of media and culture today. He explained that we're in the middle of another media revolution, as significant as that of Gutenberg. And McLuhan's ideas suggest that modern media and the internet have an effect on the way we behave. We have shorter attention spans, we multitask, compared with the pre-TV and internet generations. <laughs> 